hi and welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to show you how I created this mushroom hat I have been seeing these all over TikTok and thought it would be kind of a cute idea to make my daughter however I needed to make sure that it was not made out of cardboard like I've seen other people make it out of um, since she can be a little destructive because she's just the child plus I also wanted to make sure that it was washable so I used this pre-made hat that I got at Walmart for $10 and I used this for the base of it. To create the mycelium, which is the underside of the mushroom, I took some white cotton fabric and I created some strips that I knew were going to be wide enough to cover the underside of the broom. If you make this, always make more than what you think it's going to take because this actually took me double the amount I cut here. So I took that white cotton strip and I started pleating it on the underside of the hat brim. I used pins to secure those pleats. With the underside all pleated, I go ahead and take it to my sewing machine and I sew along the edge of the brim. With the pleats all secured down on the edge, I go ahead and trim off the extra. I do leave about an inch overhang on that because I will be folding that to the top to get a clean edge. To secure the other end which goes into the hat portion, I just go ahead and take a needle and thread and go through each pleat to just base that down. I could finish that off but nobody's going to see it anyways. I did serge this big old rectangle of fabric before I started pleating it. With that done, I do go ahead and put my zipper foot on and I sew the fabric down as close to the head portion, I guess is what you would call it, as close to that as possible just to help secure that down. And then I fold over that excess fabric on the edge and I will go ahead and sew that down as well. With the underside done, I go ahead and bulk the top of the hat with some pillow fluff and then I go ahead and smooth it all down with some quilting batting. Thank you. 
and since this hat is a curved dome top I do have to add a dart to one side of it for the batting I did three darts um, but you won't be able to see them anyways once I cover it with the red fabric with this stage it's all about smoothing and making sure there's no obvious lumps in this hat With all the edges pinned down, I go ahead and trim off the excess, and then I will hand stitch this onto the hat. And then I'll give it another trim to get that excess off. I will cut close to the stitches as possible, but try not to cut the stitches themselves. And then I covered it with this red fabric, just like I did with the batting. However, since I want white spots on this red fabric, I just marked where I needed to cut it into a circle and where the dart was going to be. For the white circles on top, I use this iron-on vinyl that you can get for your Cricut machines. I however do not own a Cricut machine, but I figured this would be the best option since I wanted it washable. And with some research online, I found out that you can use just your iron to iron this stuff on. You put it down matte side and the shiny side needs to be on top. And then you cover it with a cloth and you iron it for 45 seconds to a minute make sure it's hot it did say that you can peel it off as soon as you get the iron off it however I had a problem where I could not I had to let it sit for a few seconds before I could peel off the top paper or the transfer paper and then it worked fine and I made sure that the dart was left free of the white spot and with the white spots all on, I go ahead and add it to my hat, fold the dart down. Before I sew this red fabric to the hat itself, I go ahead and sew the dart first. And I use a ladder stitch so that way you do not see the stitches on the outside of the fabric.
now it's time to go ahead and sew this to the hat itself. I go ahead and pin along the edge um, so that way I had everything even. And then I will flip this over and fold that raw in on its underneath itself. And then I will hand stitch this fabric to the hat. And with that, you have a mushroom hat. And with the mushroom hat, I couldn't resist, but I had to make a dress to go along with it. The pattern I used for this dress was actually one I crafted for my daughter's Halloween costume this year, which you will see in a few months. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you next time. Bye!